about religion. I participated a lot as a kid, going to like YMCA camps. I'm not against it. I think everyone should have their own source of beliefs and what, I don't know, helps them get through life and makes them feel good. I feel the same. I think religion is man-made. Um, I think it's okay, but I think it, it separates us sometimes. Um, I'm Christian by title, right? But I tell people I'm not Christian, and the people I tell that to, they say, you're more Christian than people that say they are. You see the problem with that? I, I went to a friend's uh, church, and she's, she's Indian, and she believes in something completely different than Christianity. And when I was in there, I felt the same spirit that I feel in a Christian church. What are we looking at, people? I think it's all the same thing, as long as it's love. Yeah? Hmm. How would you describe the higher power? In three words, the higher power is omnipresent, um, within, and without. Um, I believe in higher power. I would say like energy, the universe. I don't really believe in a higher power, so I don't. Know. Okay. Um, omnipotent, I guess. Um, everywhere, which is kind of the same thing, and. <laughs> All knowing, I don't, I don't know. Those are my three. Yeah. Um, if I did believe in the creator, I think the three words that I would use would be eternal. I'll go everywhere. I'll steal one of your words, everywhere. And I don't know why this word popped in, but I think the creator is also forgiving. I think mm -hmm. there there has to be some sort of like humanity s aspect to this. I don't define it because I don't know enough to define it. Um, yeah. Spiritual, divine, and universal. As I would describe it as me, as you, as everything we see. Yeah? Have you ever prayed for something? If yes, what was it for? Wow, that's really personal and I might cry. So I pray to be a mom. Um, and I'm still waiting on it. <laughs> Probably only for like a test or something. I think like when I took the SAT, I prayed. I mean, we'd pray over but, like, our food a lot when I was a kid. Like we'd pray over our food for strength, you know. Yeah. The SAT. But not like a genuine prayer. It was more like a, I don't pray, but like maybe this one time I will and it'll go. Oh, on the regular. Are you kidding me? Like every single day. There's usually, um, yeah, my parents are actually Muslim, so I also am, you know, I follow Islam and not as strictly as I should probably, but um, there are certain prayers that I read every day and so a court and surprise. And so, and that. yeah, so certainly at like the end of the day, I might have a request or at the very least I ask him to grant my parents wishes, which I think are much more honorable <laughs> than my own. So yeah. I think I've prayed to a higher being. I don't know if I'll call it God, but I've definitely prayed for a higher being for two things. Um, one, very generic, like happiness and health for like people and especially as the world unfolds and technology increases, I think there's like something that we innately just wish for and we're like bringing children into the world. And personally for myself, I wish that I can live the utmost like respectful and honest life and that, I, that, I'm, that I'm able to live life without judgment, that I can be happy on my deathbed. No, I've never prayed to God. I've prayed to God millions of times even though i don't necessarily believe in god i prayed to god when i was a kid for like acting and ballet parts which i got which made me believe in the creator and um i've also like prayed for like happiness and abundance obviously i have when my grandfather was gonna die but other than that not really when they like pressure me into praying for like eating that's when I like pray but like not really I've prayed a lot um, at, I went to a Jewish school so we'd have morning prayers every morning I never knew what I was saying and as soon as I did know that what I was saying I was kind of put off by what I was saying because it was quite sexist and outdated um, but I, I then once I knew what I was saying I would choose what I agreed with and be able to understand what I'm saying and and believe in it and then that obviously gave it more power and that was when I was younger and then I grew up and I didn't pray at all and then when my mom got sick I started praying and it didn't help but 
it gave some peace of mind, I guess. Um, one of the, I think the biggest things I pray for is for the whole universe and all the planets and all the things that exist that I didn't even know existed before, and just to cover everything because it is a lot of pain out here, and I can't believe that people are in other dimensions and other planets that are in pain, right? Or there's so many people on this planet that are in pain, so I just pray like that it all makes sense at the end, because if not, I'll be sad. So sweet. You guys are such teenagers. <laughs> I'm so sad. I choose his words. Yeah. Even though you don't believe, I still choose your words. Yeah. No, stand with me. I was oh. with you. Well, I don't want to take up your time. Like, I'm not How come you guys don't have lighting? Okay.